Located at the busy intersection of Central and Broadway, 612 Brew has been a stalwart of the Northeast beer scene for years. While they might be located in a former mattress factory, this beer is nothing to sleep on. Music isn't a commodity. It's a craft. That's why we go to work every day, pounding the sidewalks and venue floors of communities big and small to discover, empower, and celebrate new and important voices shaping the future of music's history. The way we kind of approach brewing here at 612 uh, has changed a lot over the years. Our main sort of reference point is approachable beers that are interesting. We do every style you can think of, um, but our main focus is um, good solid lagers, um, as well as nice hoppy beers um, and fruited beers too. That's, that's really kind of our, our touch point to brewing. 612 Brew started with four guys, Robert, Jamie, Audit, and Libby. They were just buddies, um, home brewers, um, and wanted to get into you know, having an actual production brewery. And yeah, I've been, been here in the Broadway building since 2013. Broadway building is a former mattress factory that was standing just sort of vacant. 612 Brew is actually the first company to move in here. And since then, Spy House Coffees, upstairs, um, tons of other businesses in the building too. We have a 15 barrel brew house, uh, 30 barrel fermenters. Um, we have an overall uh, capacity of about 1800 barrels a year. We also have this tap room. We have a private space next door called the cellar um, that we rent out for weddings and parties and stuff like that. And then we have the patio as well that we do um, live music, food trucks, all kinds of stuff like that. Our core beers are Hazy IPA, Honey Blonde, and Mill City Pills. Those are the ones that we do in cans all year round. You'll always find them in the tap room, always find them in bars and liquor stores. And the nice part about being A, a small brewery and, have, and also having a tap room is we can just throw whatever beers on that we want. And we do that a lot. On an average year, we'll probably do 30 to 40 different beers. But we do everything from you know, hard seltzers to barrel-aged imperial stouts, sour beers, all of that stuff. So we have a lot of flexibility. In the dabber box, we are going to have Mill City, uh, which is our Pilsner. When you're drinking Mill City, you're going to expect a bright, pale straw good clarity, a nice sort of, uh, sort of rocky white foam on it. What you're gonna notice first is a big noble hop aroma. They are Minnesota grown hops, and so that it, it lends its own sort of unique character to it. So you're gonna notice a nice herbal kind of grassy hop aroma, um, a nice snappy bitterness at the beginning, and a nice really soft bready malt profile to it. And it crushes, I mean, you can, you can drink a lot of these, so. As far as using 100% malt works malt in this, their Pilsner malt is, is as good as really any you can find. It's just really consistent, really, really nice malt. And then we use it for, for a lot of our beers now. So later on in the year, mid-November, around holiday times, you'll definitely see a beer that we did last year called Bone Digger. It's a raspberry espresso oatmeal porter, a little under 5% alcohol, big, you know, roasty, smoky, chocolatey notes, as well as the sort of like fruity acidic notes in the raspberry, and then big espresso in there too. It's a, it's a beer that drinks really big, but you can, you can have a lot of them. You'll definitely see a few um, Kvayak IPAs. Um, that's one we really like doing. Expect to see some like cool, hearty, darker lagers in the winter. And then yeah, just a bunch of new IPAs, a bunch of new pale lagers. Thanks everybody, I really hope you enjoy Mill City. Um, I think you will, and uh, cheers.